thanks to all our active patrons who have contributed a lifetime of $100 or more to reach Garoop Dong level status. Here is the list of those special patrons in order of contributions. If you would like to support our show, check out the Commander Smiths at Patreon.com. Welcome to the Commander Smiths. We are the Commander Smiths. I'm Adam Smith. And I'm Lowry Smith. Don't worry. We're cousins. We're cousins. Episode 233. Uh, Thank you. Those of you watching on the YouTubes, I didn't get a chance to update our Garuk Dong stuff yet, but the next episode, oh, I promise. Had, we had a couple of people. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, there? we'll do some Thank shout, you. shout outs next week. Uh, what do we have in store? Are we going to take three shots this week and, uh, go for two hours plus? Hopefully not. <laughs> we can still take three shots though. <laughs> that was a lot of shots last week. Just depends on how many people donate. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look like Josh D is around. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> and He's then dangerous. I, and we don't have Ibukaki and that's another one. Yeah. He's Josh sleepy. D gets it. He's, He's very sleepy. sleepy. He's not going to be around. I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, and I think Doji 21 gave us a, a shot last week too. So I think, or beans and I, that are jelly beans. We, jelly had, beans we had a couple jelly beans too. So it was, uh, a, it was a he's reasonable <laughs> other than we fucking hate the spicy jelly beans. Yeah. But we're obviously talking about if you want to watch us suffer, you can donate down. And oh, notes look at down that. Below. Mother <laughs> jo- Josh just started. He's here. Fucker. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Should we just do it um, now instead of doing the between the segments? I mean, we just yeah, start so off the you cast can right go down, we... click on the, uh, you can, you can donate and, <laughs> and do it. All right. I like that. I'm here. Fuckers. That was the best. <laughs> we didn't think we had anybody on at this point. <laughs> I was, I mean, it's not just you, Josh. I just hope nobody's watching like every week. It just, <laughs> here's here's the thing for next week though we are going to be uh the malort is going to be taking effect next week because we're meeting up this week uh to se- exchange some uh boxes that'll for, be on the table for battle boxes uh battle boxes oh, that's why we have to figure that out too we haven't talked about that yeah uh this isn't going to look like a lot but this is like a extra large shot it's a wider glass or whatever shot glass it's like a shot thanks for app. hopping on matt matthew probably <laughs> all right cheers uh, shots to Thanks, Josh, Josh and everybody out there, anybody else that wants to join, you, mm. you can. We're not stopping you. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Goldie Goldschlager right there. <sighs> oh, Doji's on, too. Uh, We're going to have a crew here. Uh, <laughs> we'll have a crew of <clears throat> All right, so we were just talking smack about uh, us. <laughs> yeah, uh, donating and all that stuff. You guys want to donate? For shots up to three shots. We're at one right now. So, and jelly beans and all that fun stuff. Uh, what do yeah. we have in store for this week's episode, Mr. <clears throat> Lowry? All right. So we're going to, we're going to do underplayed cards, cards that we just think that should be played more. Um, All of mine are under 3000, I think. Um, in our EDH rec decks, we are kind of going off of there. Mine, I have um, so, one that's close to 5,000, but that's always kind of been my, yeah. that's the only yeah, yeah. one. Yours has always been 5,000. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Um, And so this isn't quite curated as uh, Mr. Hockey pointed out earlier in our discord. It's close, but yeah. it's at least for me, I pick out, I try and pick out cards that don't quite fit the mold of curated. Cheers, Josh. And so, um, but it's still, hopefully you learn about some cards here. Try and maybe you try them out a little bit more if you're comfortable with them. Uh, they're all pretty cool cards, I think. So I, I, um, I will I pick say five, Adam pick five. Yep. I, I will say, so it's a 10. We're doing a, a fucking yeah, tan, tan list. Um, I, I don't know if you found this with you, but like I found it a little more difficult than when we did it a, a little over a year ago. And I was trying to find my list of the ones oh. I picked out a year ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, Matt, Massa, Samson, Samson. I'm assuming it's Ma- probably M A Samson. Uh, Samson. Probably. M A Samson? Samson. Oh, Matt yeah, Samson. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Is that the new guy? <laughs> the the one. How much well, did he just donate? Sorry, I wasn't. He did paying attention. five. So I believe five? five is our double hot beans thing. Okay, so God damn it. Should we hit that now, or should we hit that before the tags? Or, uh, okay. Well, we could. 
prep. We can prep. We can keep on doing this. So anyways, um, or you, I, I, I mean, I don't keep lists that much. Like you, you had your notes from God, how <laughs> long ago was that? Oh, it was a couple years. Cause that's where, that's why I came across it. Cause I was looking for my notes from when we did this the last time. And it was when Dempsey and T Coats both joined and we were giving the shout outs, which we have a shout out today, by the way. Uh, oh, good oh, for you. good uh, for you. But yeah, we got a shout out today to do, but I hit that. And I was like, oh, it's crazy. Dempsey and T Coats joined at the same time. And I was like, episode, fuck, I don't remember what it was. But in that one, um, where is the story going? What the fuck am I talking about? Am I already drunk? Oh. <laughs> I was getting a spicy bean. Oh, you already got one? All right. Yeah, yeah. I All mean, right. I don't know. Oh, so I was just trying to find my notes. So I basically had to find my um, my underplay, and I just went through my binders, like I guess on the treadmill today, just going through every one of my 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 toolbox binders, mm-hmm. and it was tougher to find because I remember I had like a two page list before, and this time I oh, I only came up with like seven, and then I was like, oh, I already did two of these, so that <laughs> didn't work out very well. <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, I got a bean. Oh, shit. It's a red one. I'm pretty sure mine's sriracha. But it you, could be hot. I think you're cheating because you just keep getting like you could... sriracha. I think you just no, like, replaced jalapeno all of them. and. I think you're just cheating. I think that's. Just hit them. It's fine. I think I might have a sriracha too. You ready? So. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, no. Now you're not cheating. Cheers. 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 Uh, thanks, Matt Sampson, for. Yeah. Th- for crappy. Thank you. Um. Yeah, it might still be. spicy, but pretty sure that's sriracha. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> nope. Oh. oh. Here's a <clears throat> habanero. It might be. Yeah. Uh, if it's a little bit lighter, that's the uh, habanero. So uh, It doesn't taste like sriracha. Well, I don't think any of them taste like they're sriracha. No, I mean, like... when we had the sriracha, I could. Could you? All right. Oh, balls. <laughs> oh, bollocks. All right. Mm. Um, mm-hmm. there goes it. <laughs> I should not be laughing because this is all right. I'm drinking <laughs> Prairie Artisan Ales Blueberry Boyfriend. It came in a sampler pack. Um, it's pretty sour, it's not like sour, sour, but more than I was expecting. It's aight. Oh, god damn it, it's aight. What you drinking? <laughs> Oktoberfest <laughs> in the summer. <laughs> It's an October from Surly. All right. Uh, they're either a little early or really late. Really early. Oh, I like October. I'm sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> this sucks so bad. Yeah. Oh, good one, Samson. Mm. Good one. All we, right. Uh, <sighs> okay, so we're doing and then we'll still do uh oh, stump the smith savant we are on the fourth week i believe and so if i succeed uh we will add another card Who, yes. who's who's uh who's trying to stump me today so i made a little mistake and i did the drawing last night when i did the um spotlight searching mm. for the spotlight Whew. and i drew jacob newman which he did he tried to stump you a couple weeks ago i forgot to pull his name out so we actually went down oh. the list, and this is actually a non-patron. Uh, the next oh. one was Arc- Archangel Alchemist. I think he might be from um, the other Discord. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Exiled? Oh, the Exiled? Yeah. So I think it was an emailer. So I'm okay. just guessing that's where that's from. So this one's a pretty okay. uh, interesting one here. So this will be a good one. Um, and then what do we got for staple verses? What is our staple verses? Do you already go over that? Uh, you uh, were doing enchantment-based tokens. Uh, theme got to choose between them. Adam's going to be defending anointed possession in doubling the amount of tokens or counters that come out tokens. And I'm going to be doing divine visitation, uh, which is awesome. And uh, vote for me. Don't vote start. For don't start that. Sorry. All right. Don't start D ass discord. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, you just wanted to keep this going. They kind of, they kind of cooled off. The, uh, the discord was pretty, uh, I got. Uh, it I got was some, like you kicked a beehive. Uh, I got. I got some announcements when we get to that. When we get to that segment, I got some announcements to talk about. Mm. All right. I just opened up okay. another one. Um, this one uh, is a Fulton Tropical Lonely Blonde. This is actually really good. Uh, I think Fulton is the brewer, or the brewery. Does that sound right? 
Uh, Fulton? Fulton yeah. is a brewery. Yep, so Fulton is the brewery, but it's a tropical lonely blonde. Really good. Look, you know, it's pretty interesting that Mr. Hockey and Renshai both showed up quite late today. I just wanted to point that out. Well, ah. Renshai said it was our link that was yeah, bad. So did, so did Mr. Hockey, but um, <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, maybe, maybe. Oh, just, no, uh, I didn't realize it was Hockey's here, too. I Bukaki, you got to say his whole name. Mm-hmm. They got to get that right. Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, nope. Where, where were you this past weekend? You were out of town, kind of. Oh, I kind of. I went up to Duluth. They had uh, Thomas the Train Engine Expo. Um, <laughs> I don't know if it's an expo, but it was a little <laughs> thing. You got the, like... Um, they, they kind of dressed the train up like Thomas, the train engine. You got to hop on this old timey, you know, train cars and, uh, you know, ride around on it for like a half hour, like a real train, legit, you cool know, when they break, it goes, um, and then a bunch of little games, uh, they had a foam party there, which was cool. Ooh, uh, the foam, kids loved it. A foam party. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah. They had so many. Shirts goddamn off. It was fucking ridiculous. <laughs> you could not see the ground. Lowry tripped on like, uh, there's like three pools set with like, dude, uh, like fountains with like the bubbles being created. Yeah. And it had spilled out oh, across man. like a 12 by 12 area and little Lowry couldn't see anything. So he just like tripped on it and just scuffed his knee and he was uh not happy um dude phone parties fun phone parties well adult i mean phone like parties real life phone parties where are one of the drunk and falling yeah, on their own one of the scariest yeah. things i've ever experienced it's was a phone party. fucking insane you can't breathe no when it gets can't. like super you put your hands over your mouth yeah. just so you're not sucking in nope. bubbles and then your yep. your junk is just getting grabbed left and right because the <laughs> locals there are just like oh i'm just this is the time where i can molest people and then, <laughs> yeah, that brought, didn't happen to me because they they knew not to not to bless me because yeah, I'm because you're, you're I'm Bouncer ugly. Lowry. It's, it's very yeah. obvious that Bouncer Lowry don't bless me. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna get a I handful of hair. <laughs> Maybe that's what I want. Uh, <laughs> I went there. My I went to Mazatlan for my senior year of high school, and we did a foam party. And when that shit just came from the ceiling and started, it was just a wave. <laughs> Is that a ten dollar DMU, Josh? You gotta wait. You gotta wait. But thank you. You're gonna, you're gonna wait. <laughs> that was great timing. Uh, I'll set myself up. What All is right, this so, next one? Matt uh, did another freaking hot bean. You little bastard. How'd you get uh, a right. jumping dinosaur? How, can you? Pick yeah, I don't your know own? how'd you do that. How are you able to choose? That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not guy. even mad. I'm impressed. You ate the whole wheel of cheese and pooped in the refrigerator. Oh, I can't boy. even say refrigerator. Okay. Uh, but really quick. So the foam party, the foam's going, and it's like this wave. And you remember my buddy Dane in high school? Yes. We couldn't breathe, so we got to the edge. And that's because the bubbles were popping when they hit the wall. So there was, like, this lower part. And I remember, like, looking at him just like, holy shit, this is crazy. And then all of a sudden, Dane disappeared because he slipped and fell into the foam. And by that point, it was, like, two feet of water and beer and every other fluid that's down there. And yeah, it was the, it was the greatest time ever. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Samson, that's you, a hobbin. Are you trying to do this right now before we even get to tags? Are you doing all this right I'm, now? I, habanero. Let's not do the oh. spicy until after tags. Okay. So let me, we let can, me we see. can save this stuff, but I got, I got my shot ready and I'm looking at a habanero jelly bean. Oh shit. I have a buck. I have a cayenne. At least they're not the cayenne's not bad. Carolina yeah. Reaper. Well, that's the middle of the road. It's still hiccup territory. I think <laughs> last story to okay. that, that, uh, foam party. That was the year, uh, stupid senior in high school where I went down there and I was like, I don't need to wear sunscreen. I just burn and then I tan. And so the first day I didn't wear any sunscreen and I burnt all sorts of shit. Like I had my forehead bubbled and blistered and all that. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That foam party. I had a dark shirt on and when we got out and I took it off skin all on the (laughs) inside of it just because it got wet and all those blisters just peeled. (laughs) Oh, 
Oh, oh my God. <laughs> so we went oh from uh, your kid doing a fun foam party to a blisters and skin on a shirt. Because Me- Mex- uh, Mazatlan's <laughs> in Mexico, right? I'm yeah, assuming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mexican sun is no nope. joke. Like, yep. I was. Stupid. I went down to work on an orphanage with a group of friends and they all took oh, their shirt good off. Oh, God. No, you. I, that's <laughs> not the point. It was, it was where. <sighs> okay. So we got there. And it was like midday. And so we got right into work um, and everybody put sunscreen on. I left my shirt on hat. Like I just, oh, yeah. I know that I burned, but everybody missed the side of their torso with the, the sunblock. Oh, so you got and so, like a stri- so there was just a strip <laughs> of red on everybody's side on each side. And they f- they they sucked for the rest of the week because like their arms the, the shirt still Ow. hurt like Ow. yeah they, <laughs> Ow. oh they were everybody's walking around like they which way is the weight room because <laughs> none of them were muscular but yes uh, so you see yeah yeah you see uh, talking a little sucks. smack on the the discord I didn't I you know the, I generally avoid what he says like it's <laughs> oh you know what's funny is this first like 20 minutes now instead of like telling well you're telling stories it's turning into a eating beans and (laughs) uh, (laughs) eating beans and drinking shots my my college days right no is that what i I wish (laughs) hold on hold on on. oh good (laughs) for you yeah it it didn't uh that, that didn't uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh wait, Josh is. I just said Adam seems like he needs another one. Hiccups for, look rough. That's why he gave us the ten dollars shot yes. to give me the, the yep. get rid of the hiccups to get rid of that. Yeah. So we got to flip flop it this time. We'll do the bean first and then wash it down with the shot. I think that's what we do. Oh, no. You don't. Know. I just want to get this habanero. Can I just eat it while you're doing the tags? Because well, that's how let's normally... do this right now because we'll get into the tags so we can start the episode. Did you already pop it in? No, I have it. It's just sitting there staring at me and I'm fucking scared. Like, I don't want to do it right into Stump the Smith Savant. No, let's do it. I'm not going to focus. That is a good point. Let's, uh, you don't have to do it with me. I just, I, no, let's do it right now and then I can get into the tags. How how are you going to talk? Oh, that's a good Oh, you got a cayenne. Yeah, fuck you. All right, let's do this. All right, cheers. Cheers. And then we can take a shot. Thanks, Samson. Yep. Thanks, Samson. Oh, there's, I'm not even. Samson, are you our new patron? Is your is your name Beer Doctor? Because we have Beer Doctor that I get to give a shout out to. That's true. Oh, oh, thanks. Josh is drinking with us. Oh wait, no, he's drinking with Renshine. That wasn't too bad. Yeah. So that first one I had was what you have right now. How is it? Yeah, it's spicy. No, it's spicy. I'm <laughs> oh, do you think if we do this for like years? That we're gonna build up a tolerance, or is it just, are we gonna like move on to actual uh, peppers, hot? Woo! All right, all right, all right. No, Matt Sampson is not the new one. Okay, I thought you said you were. Right. Yeah, okay, my bad. Um, right. Take the shot, and then we can move on to the tags. You good? Right. You good? Yep. Cheers. All right, cheers. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Josh. Again. Good shot. All right. <laughs> Let's get moving. What are we doing to ourselves? Has two shots so far? Yeah, we have only one right. more left. Mm. I have the hiccups now. Sweet. There we go. Yeah, no. All right. <clears throat> you guys can support the show by becoming a patron. We actually have a new patron this week. It is Mr. Beer Doctor. Welcome to a meat forest. That sounds like a fairy tale of a meat forest. Thank you, Beer Doctor. I think you fit in perfectly because that's what we do is we drink beer uh, while we're doing this and shots and all that fun stuff. Uh, But you can become a patron just like Beer Doctor by donating a dollar or more. Gets you in the Discord. uh, Gets you playing games like we just played this week. We actually had Discord games. So just getting... uh, Doing a dollar a month gets you to play some games with us. We kind of are lining things up so everybody's on there. It's live games and all that. Uh, $5 or more gets your proxies each month. Uh, as you move higher in the tiers, you can get the foil ones, which I highly recommend. That's the ones you go for if you can. Uh, things are a little bit changed with the the proxies. I'll get to, get to that in a second, actually. 
we're going to still, there's always going to be the four proxies each month. That's what I've always tried to do, add four proxies in. Uh, but there might not be as many live because they want to do a lot more deck building and then uh, playing more games. That's kind of the gist of it. Uh, so that is the financial way to support the show. Also, you can jump on these live feeds here. If you jump on YouTube, Mondays at 9 p.m. Central Time is when we're doing these uh, the live podcasts. Uh, you can do what we've been doing today. You can buy a shots, make a suffer, do some jelly beans. People don't tend to do the dollar jelly beans. They really want to want it to burn, which makes sense yeah. because the other ones are easy. It doesn't. These are tough. But that is the I other way. I think we mix them all together. Yeah. I think we just mix them all together. Yep. We just mix them all. Oh, you mix. No, <laughs> I mean like the bean oh. boozled too. So everyone. Well, then you just have oh. one price. But we just want, if somebody just wants to give a dollar, they can just give a dollar. It's all good. All right. It's all Fine. good, baby. Fine. <laughs> um, so if you, if you don't want to become a patron, that is another way to support the show. Uh, just by donating on the live feed. And that's also interacting with us. So that's awesome as well. Uh, if you don't, the free way to support the show is to jump on YouTube, subscribe. That's all you need to do. Subscribe. If you really want to support it more, start watching our videos, like all that stuff. We have tons of videos, lots of videos that go out weekly at this point. Lots of them are live because, uh, to be honest with you, it's a lot easier to edit when you don't have to edit when it's live. It's easy. Uh, so we have curated MTG, which is not a live one, but that is twice a week. It is. On, I have like spit gathering in my mouth from the, the heat. Yeah. Um, curated is twice a week and mm-hmm. Lowry, what was our curated for Monday? As of today, what was that card? Uh, I did a scatter shot archer, which is one green one, two elf archer taps to deal one damage to each flying creature. Um, it's really cheap to kind of put it in there, especially if you have like a Layla or spirit creatures in your meta, the one, one tokens and stuff like that. And so I was just thinking there's some other fun stuff that you can kind of do with it, but <clears throat> go check it out. See if you like it or not. Biggest things with those is you watch the, the cure or the shorts all the way through, give it a like, uh, that's how you guys can make those, those suckers go viral with the amount of people that are uh, subscribed and everything you seriously, you guys can make those go viral. Uh, you can also watch those on TikTok, by the way. The curateds always show up there. Yep. And actually, any of our segments that are 10 minutes or less are going to be popping up there. Uh, not segments, but any of our bits will show up there as well. So TikTok is another place to follow us uh, as well. Uh, we also have, as I mentioned, there is uh, a little change up with the proxy time stuff. Proxy time is something that I like to, like, that I do. Like, that's just the thing, making proxy making proxies is what I like to do. But there isn't it's kind of a harder thing to like, just watch visually uh, people following along and stuff like that. And, and I sometimes rush through it when I have people watching, watching. Uh, and so that might turn into more of I'm doing them and I'm just posting those monthly of the new proxies. I <clears throat> might do once, maybe twice a month where there's a live one, but I really wanted to get more into deck building because my decks are piling up. Like <laughs> It's just, Lowry typically has yeah. been taking one one day a week for spotlight deck, and well, Lowry- and and we were just talking about it a little bit earlier. I'm gonna switch up my like switcheroo style because normally I just go in with a pile of cards and I want to add it into it. But number one, I'm falling behind on like keeping my decks updated, and number two, it takes a lot longer, and so I'm gonna have cards ready to go. Talk to more of why I'm doing it. And then I can move on. So I'm thinking I can get roughly three in an hour versus what I was doing before. It's a, it's going to be a lot more fast paced um, and a, a lot less dawdling. Yeah. Uh, I do a, enough dawdling when I'm making the decks. So yeah. So just letting you know if, if you're interested in checking it out again. So we will have potentially one to two spotlight type deck things going on each week. Uh, depends on if I do a proxy time or if we play games like this, this past week, our Wednesday, we play Discord games. So that's another thing you guys can check out as well. Uh, we did two matches. I did Captain N, whatever his name is. And you did Ishin, which was pretty sweet. Good. That did some work in the second game and was starting was to do work good. in the first game and then got board got wiped. wiped out. <laughs> but we, we played with the, we played with patrons. It was uh, J- Jacuzzi and Renshai, Renshai jumped in on those. Uh, and so that's a, a big benefit. If you become a patron, you can get in on those live games as well. 
Uh, but then you can check those videos out. So those are pretty cool. So there's there's always things going on. We got the curated, we got the Discord games, they got proxy time, we got uh, spotlight decks and all that. So YouTube is a really big thing to follow us on there because you're gonna see a lot of content coming out. And that's what we've been yeah. doing for weeks and months actually at this point. Uh, so check that out. So almost a year, a year, yeah, yep. easily a year. Yep. Yeah. For, uh, to for all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it, not the live stuff, but not the live stuff, but the we've been recording a lot more we over a year and a half at this yeah. point so uh so yeah check out that youtube uh the other way is you guys can check out twitter that's where we'll post all that stuff uh anything that's changing any uh videos any voting any cards we get all that stuff it's like discord light <laughs> ultra light because discord gets everything that's happening with what we're doing and what we're yes. posting and then the stuff, 10% of it trickles onto Twitter. Besides, all the videos trickle onto Twitter. But, yeah. like, the happenings and what we're doing in our lives and what we're just conversations is Discord. So if you really want to interact with us, jo join the Discord. If you only want a little bit of us, light, follow us on Twitter. That's another place. So uh, yeah. you also can direct message us there. Or you can direct message us by shooting us an email at commandersmiths at gmail.com. And that is where you can send the suggestions for this. It's time for everyone's favorite game show, Stump the Smith Savant. All right. Oh, wait. We don't have any shots, right? Okay. I was like, wait, did I forget nope, something? No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, we're good uh, all right. <laughs> If you guys don't know how this game works, I am going to read the flavor text of a card, and Lowry is going to try to guess the card by asking yes or no questions. Every yes will hear this. Hello, boobies. Every no will hear this. Wrong, 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 wrong. He will get up to five wrong guesses before he is considered stumped. He will get up to three clues. If he can get to... Uh, get what, what is it? If you can get to... Oh, no. If you can get everything about the card, but you don't know what the card name is, and you still have a clue, or you'll get the, the initials. If you still have a clue left, you'll get a bonus clue, which will be a little bit more revealing. Uh, right now, Maybe. we have, like Larry mentioned earlier, this is the fourth week, so we still have the Forbidden Orchard. I don't need to grab it, but it's the Forbidden Orchard from Double Masters 2022. Just the regular version. Next week, if Lowry doesn't get stumped this week, we'll add a second card. Uh, the card has to be in 5,000 EDH rec decks or more. This week's stumper is Archangel Alchemist. And I believe that is it. Uh, I have shut off uh, the chat so Lowry can no longer see what the chat is saying. But the chat can see what they're saying. So you guys can play along and try to guess the card, work together, and try to beat Lowry to uh, this card. All right, here we go for centuries the minotaur poils of soco socophis socophis one one can't even read two. i didn't even read the poils right because that's not <laughs> right it's uh... polis polis the minotaur polis is it p-o-l-i-s P -O -S? yeah I, polis. yeah polis okay i'll give you polis that's what i how i would say it of <laughs> Skophos, S K O P H O S was unknown to humans. It remains unexplored. For centuries, the Minotaur Polis of Sokophis was unknown to humans. It remains unexplored. Are you smiling because of my reading or smiling because you think you know what this card is? <laughs> I, well, okay, okay. So this is from the plane of Theros. Is that a question? That is a question. Hello, boobies. <clears throat> um, it remains unexplored. Can you repeat that <laughs> again? <laughs> For centuries, the Minotaur Polis of Sco Scophos, Scophos was unknown. Scophos. Scophos was unknown to humans. It remains unexplored. Yeah, so... Boom, Stephen Dale. Yeah, I, I I have a fairly good idea of what this is. I'm just going to try and narrow it down a little bit. So it's saying that it still remains unexplored. Minotaurs are associated with labyrinths. Um, 
I mean, I might as well just go for the gold, right? Is this Labyrinth of Scophos, or however you said it? Hello, booby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, dang. All that work for fucking <clears throat> clues. I spent like 15 minutes doing clues, <laughs> and none of it matters. None of it mattered. <laughs> yeah, this, <clears throat> is the, this is the first one that we've had, and I was hoping that it would throw you off a little bit. Uh, that we had the part of the in name there. in the the actual uh, flavor text. So yeah, that was uh, <laughs> damn it. I yeah, had I mean, the art features a desert temple surrounded by a con a confusing intricate network of uh, passages. So I didn't want to give away <laughs> a maze or a labyrinth. And then it was from the, actually the stumper himself. Uh, this card is a reference to an older card. And then I said of which it produces a positive, but costs a negative. For its comparable effect. And then it's in 10,000 EDH rec decks. Seen most in Kozilek. It's actually. in 10,000? 10,000 EDH rec what? decks. And it's most seen I... in Kozilek decks. Uh, uh, okay, okay. Colorless decks, I can see this yeah. being okay in. Okay, okay. Because I was going to say, I have considered this for zero decks in my <laughs> life. <laughs> I have, I have, I put it into consideration because I do like the the land tapping part of it. Cause it's, you know, uh maze of it type thing. Cause I was like, Oh, it's a benefit, but four. Eesh, that's Eesh. tough. That's yeah, tough. But yeah, it didn't make it in any deck. So, so, uh, uh, sorry, uh, Mr. Archangel alchemist. You can send this card signed because according to Larry, this is a crap card and shouldn't cost you any. I'm just kidding, <laughs> but you can sign it signed. If you like, if you like, if, uh, if you do send it, It'll make it up onto the wall over here and make it up on the Lowry's wall behind him as well uh, with whatever you sign on there. So uh, I guess it's out of picture now. I don't think I realized that. Where is your? It's over. Do you still have your hat there. tag on your hat? Turn your head That's around. That's not what we're talking about right uh, now. Turn your head around. Wait, I'm going to get this bigger here so I can see. Turn your head I don't around. Need my head bigger. Turn around. I mean, yes, I do. What's the problem there? <laughs> are you gonna return it now? Or are you are you is that the uh, is what the hipsters are still doing? I remember <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have a flat brim for your hat there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That might it might have came like this. <laughs> what well, yeah, it comes with a tag. Or are you saying the curve? No, I mean the curve bill, oh, yeah. We all come with our curve, Lowry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Just that curves like a, to the left. A sexuality joke? Curves to the right. <laughs> curves down. All right. All right. We're just talking I don't, about I don't know. It doesn't point. matter. Like, I don't wear it out of this. I don't think it's been out of this closet since Christmas. So <laughs> it it's it doesn't matter. Your hat's still in the closet. I get it. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny if it cut that tag off. Like, you're going to actually return that sweaty hat now at this point. <laughs> No, I don't have like a receipt or anything. I don't even know where I got it from the in-laws. So I don't know where they got it from. <laughs> uh, Wrench, I made a point. He said he almost got it as fast as Wasteland. LOL. <laughs> almost. But Wasteland is still the record. Yeah. Sorry, Wrench, I. If we uh, okay. if we want to advance our giveaways, we just need to pick Wrench, I for it. I'm just Whoa. kidding. <laughs> Whoa. Shots fired. <laughs> pew, pew. Uh, let's pew, hope pew. he doesn't buy us a shot. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> um. I, I think, yeah. Yep. 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 What yep. were you going to say? You were about to add, uh, you were gonna add something there, buddy. Doesn't matter. What are you going to add? Like I said, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Move on, Adam. Please do not press this. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, actually, I got to switch back to our other view because we are going to talk about cards here. Top 10 cards you should be using that you aren't using in Commander. <laughs> Underused, <laughs> underrated. Why aren't you playing these cards? <laughs> Sounds about right. I think that's. I thought you fit. said you had like a new button. That could have been it. <laughs> that, fit. That, was, yeah. <laughs> that was my new button. What are you talking about? Only the <laughs> people alive saw or your watching. mouth button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but I want to know. That's, I mean, I'm sure your wife enjoys it. <laughs> <laughs> she wish she could turn it off. Sometimes. I don't know what that means either. <laughs> this is a nonsensical conversation right now. I feel like the 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 two shots early on really get us like greased up a little bit here uh it's nice all right <laughs> i don't know okay so we've done this segment actually multiple times when i was looking back yeah. on how many times we've done <laughs> oh, wait. let me back it up a little bit let's 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 reveal the curtain here we did this segment last <laughs> summer at the beginning of summer 
And it did really well. We were like, whoa, huge numbers, big downloads, whatever. So then we still had leftover cards on our list. And I'm like, why don't we do it again? And then it went. <laughs> yeah. So what we learned was, yeah, even if something's really good to do it two weeks in a row is not so good. No point. I don't know how, you know, other podcasts that do the same thing over and over and over. How does that work? I don't know. Because ours, when we have done multiple in a row, it it tanks. It just tanks. (laughs) And that one, I felt like I was like, hey, we're going to still get good numbers because this, it did really well. And then it just fucking shit the bed. So yeah, we took a year, yeah. so, year and a couple month break. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> our algorithm is fucked. It's like, you have to do something different every uh, week. <laughs> right. Well, that was a big, uh, that was a big message. Oh, it's Bill. Bill's on here. Uh, something Smith is on for prizes for a line. Oh, I should actually read out loud. Cause people listening aren't hearing that. Uh, what? Yes. I think that's right. Yeah. It was a Legends card. Marhold's. God damn it. Wrench. I, it took well, him. All right. We but, haven't started uh, that segment. Marhold Elves Dragon. Um, that was in the flavor text. That was before. That was last summer before we were giving stuff Giving out. stuff away. So, okay. Yeah. Bill, uh, Bill from Woodbury is correct on that. Yeah. So, that, that I should say, I should probably get, or somebody should get a list <laughs> by somebody I mean. Are we waiting? Hey, are we waiting on this shot? Because we definitely aren't like. No, we aren't in the segment yet. We can really Into the segment. We can do it. We can get it, Ren Shai. All right. Last shot. No more shot donation. Yep, that is it. Thank you guys. Um, but <clears throat> bean boozled stuff, we can definitely do that. Oh man. Oh, oh, that's even a longer one. Oh, Bill. No, it's still the same one. <laughs> I like turned around I'm like the message is really long. <laughs> uh all right. Cheers. Get... <laughs> Cheers, Ren Shai. Thank you. For being awesome. That's starting to warm up. Not nearly as good. (laughs) You guys better be doing the same ones next week because Malort is on, and that is going to be a treat to watch. It's a little bit more expensive, though, right? (laughs) Well, so I haven't had any other booze from this besides uh, Discord or Discord uh, chat donations. This bottle is more than half gone. Look that what you guys me. did, you little jerks! That's, uh, I don't, I don't drink liquor on my own. That is you guys. So. All right, all right. I'll make you suffer. <sighs> you shot just like up to the habanero. Like I didn't, it went away, and now that I took the shot, it's <laughs> no, there it's again. <laughs> so maybe that's a bad idea. Oh, we have the two worst on right now that are just trying to make us in pain. Ibukaki and Renshai are just trying <laughs> to. <laughs> you, d- Ibukaki, you bastards deserve pain. Okay. Um. So what I kind of was mentioning earlier right. was I don't know if you're noticing it at all, but I feel like cards are beat there. It's a little bit harder to find those ones that aren't being used because if they aren't being used a lot of times, it just means they're not good. So really what it, it, a lot of times, not every time it's there's a, there's two factors. I feel either it's not good or it's too old that people don't know about it. And so yeah. I when I was looking at our older lists, a lot of them, and I don't know, I don't, I didn't go and start listening to the episode. Uh, why do I have a labyrinth up? Whatever, we still have the same thing up. Uh, a lot of them were reserve list cards or around that, and so with that, it's it, to me was it's because those people don't know about those cards or they're too expensive. Um, okay. I don't know. You didn't have the same issues when you were looking for cards. You're just, no, I, I guess the, the difference too is sorry. No, <laughs> sorry. I, I, no, I, I get it there too. It actually, I'm going to be serious for a second is you have a, a curated thing that's going. And so you're kind yeah. of already yeah. on that wavelength. I'm already, where you're, yeah, I'm you're already looking that for things that aren't being used a lot that are good cards. <clears throat> And I'm not because I just like playing good yeah. cards. I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay, but uh, yeah, I mean, like I'm. I also the system that I have with the boxes, as you can, this, this right here is all of my two colored, multicolored cards that I would consider playing right off the bat. Oh, good it's, for you. Not the point. <laughs> and. <clears throat> 
So what that does, this is green, that's black. And what that does is it allows me, I'm always going through my cards rather than, that's the first thing that I do because when I'm like making decks is because it allows me to know what I actually have, number mm -hmm. one. And number two, it allows me to always kind of always be looking at curated cards. And then when I start kind of like running out of cards then I'll start going through my boxes and looking for cards that have gone up to like a dollar or, you know, like when I'm going through random boxes, I'm going like, oh, that's an interesting card. And so <clears throat> that, that's something that I'm almost always doing along with that's how I kind of spec mm -hmm. or at least used to a lot more. And so that's, that's always in the wheelhouse of, oh, this is really cool here, here and here but there's no price on it that could work. Um, and so that's where a lot of, so I agree. Yep. 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 Uh, bog witch, <laughs> bog witch, Stephen Dale. <laughs> um, actually, surprisingly, I have a card cause you mentioned, uh, Mercadian masks that is in my, uh, top five here. So, uh, Stephen Dale was mentioning that that is his all-star. Wow. Oh, it's his all-star black card is what he was saying. Bog witch. Uh, okay, so let, let's get into our 10 here. Uh, Lowry, why don't you start us off with your, your first one? All right. So this is one that is, it's it's not a card that I've played, can but I, it's more. What? Can I do a pause really quick? Okay. Look, look, what I'm about to, I'm about to type in what you're going to say. Look at the first okay. word that's up on there. Can you see that? You can see what card I type in a lot. Uh, it's a little blurry for me. I don't know. Oh, it says Urza's Saga. <laughs> I don't How know. How many times you look up that I card? don't know. I haven't typed in anything, but but then you have Urza Saga, Sword of Crater Hoof, Taiga, Soul Ring, Hanada. I don't know why, because I don't look up Hanada stuff. Like, why <laughs> Why is all that shit there? Anyways, go ahead. Sorry. Hey, good thing it isn't something, like, sexual. Like, yeah. <laughs> for some reason, in Scryfall. Oops. I didn't realize I was on Scryfall. <laughs> Big butts. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, so I'll say the name of the card so you can pull it up real quick. But pain magnif magnification. <laughs> All right. The shots are getting to me. Pain, this is, is an pain, enchantment. Is it pain magnification? Is that what you're Magnification, like, like a magnifying okay, glass. Got it, right? This guy right Blash. here. This Jesus. guy right here. Hold on. I'm not looking at yours. All right. What's he? Yes. Okay. Yep. 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 Okay. So that is in. 2063 decks and what that does is that's uh you can see the converted mana cost but whenever an opponent is dealt three or more damage by a single source that player discards a card Ooh. so <clears throat> what this does is like if you have a three three that deals damage to a an opponent it's not you it's your opponents as well they have to discard a card and so if you have two three threes hit them they got to discard two cards yeah that's pretty and ridiculous actually because yeah yeah that, it's it, that's really crazy actually like, and that's not just combat damage either yeah. it's like if you do an Direct. earthquake everybody has to discard a card except for you because it does only affect your opponents and this card is really good now i think in a general sense it's very good right the reason why i don't play it is because then i know nobody's going to attack each other that's what those <laughs> cards do for me <laughs> If there's a benefit for me <laughs> slash hurting other people, they'll go oh, doing something. Then we're we not, won't do we're it. We're not going to help them. <laughs> we won't comply with Lowry's demands. We That's exactly <laughs> what happens. And so I don't play it, but I would if if this wasn't the case within our group. So, yeah. um, but I highly suggest this card if you have an aggressive deck, um, because it isn't just you know if you attack with three one ones and they all get through like that doesn't count. But if you're attacking or doing like surround damage, like an earthquake, like I was saying, like it's going to be a really good card. Yeah. Or Doji 21, you mentioned yesterday on the uh, spotlight deck, lightning bolts. You can get somebody to mail look or, or discard a card, yeah. but don't yeah. play lightning bolt in uh, commander. It's just, it's not, <clears throat> that's not, that's not true. I plan on doing it in the next deck. I'll talk I would about just say week, build though. a better deck. It's, Flavorful, I would just say build a better deck. <laughs> oh, Dukin. Oh, look at that. I got gotcha. you. What are you doing? <laughs> what, what's your next one? I, I didn't even do one yet. So my first yeah, one? I guess. Yeah, whatever. Look. All look. right. All right. All right. So this one We're is trying. kind of is, is a double shout out. Uh, this one actually comes from uh, Hey Number Two. 
Uh, number two posted this one a few months back. Uh, it is Tower of the Magistrate. Uh, it's a land. It is comes into play. You can tap it to add a colorless mana, so it gives you mana. Or you can tap one and tap it. Uh, target creature gains protection from artifacts until end of turn. So the, the reason why that's kind of cool is people that are playing equipment type decks, you could remove all their equipment by tapping one and doing that. Uh, it, I guess it gives you protection uh, if you're playing something like that. But the, really what it is is removing people's equipment. People love to play, except you won't be able to target them if they have Shroud or whatever. But uh, people like to play equipments, and this is a great card for it. Here's the problem. Number two did that a couple months ago. I haven't picked up my copy because I was like, oh, I didn't know that fucking card existed. Awesome. Yeah. And it was like $3 at that time. Well, then it appeared on Command Zone and the oop, Command oop, Zone oop. effect went in and right now it's at 25 bucks. Yeah. Wait a little bit. Uh, I know there isn't a lot of inventory because it is from Ar Arcadian Mass, which is uh, Stephen Dale. But, but honestly, it, it's only in what a thousand? How many oh, decks was yeah, it? Yeah, sorry, sorry, it is in fifteen hundred. So it's uh, one thousand five hundred forty-seven. Yep, and it was only in a couple hundred before yeah. uh, Command Zone got a hold of it. So I would say don't necessarily get it at this price. If you have the card, maybe use it a little bit more but maybe wait a little bit because it's not, uh, I don't think it's a, res is it reserve list? No, it is not reserve list. I don't think they'll print this card again unless it's like a secret layer type thing or something, but it's, it isn't in decks. So they're not going to print this, so, but wait for the command that, zone effect to yeah. dwindle out a little bit because right now it's still on that high. So we're discussing finance a little bit now. And I've said this in the discord before as well. So this originally kind of hit like a $7 spike years ago because of batter skull in legacy so it used to be stoneforge mystic in a batter skull on you know turn three and like it was hard to beat and then you could give the germ protection from artifacts and then batter skull becomes nothing right and um and it's gone down since then but then cz brought it back up it's still not seeing a ton of decks. Like we're saying it did, it did increase by probably a thousand or something, Yeah, but that's still not reasonable for the spike. So <clears throat> either it comes down or it's seeing play in wherever, you know, that new modern horizons, the Caldra suit that comes in with a germ on it. That's like seven mana. And, oh yeah. And yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's a, uh, it's the one the one that culture yeah. complete yeah 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 and so if thing. that's seen play which i believe it is in something i'm not 100 percent sure where but if that's if that's the counter to it in in a legacy then it might stay up because of its lack but it's still a really good card for us because if somebody goes like um you know, basilisk collar. Basilisk collar is a good example. Example, but really, it's like it's actually almost frustrating for lightning greaves because they're like equip with lightning greaves in response, give it or you know protection from That's artifacts, and they're like, well, I'm just gonna you know do it again. It's like no, it's protection until end of turn. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can't equip at uh, instant speed, so you're not taking, <clears throat> you're not doing the stack stuff, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh it's a great card for sure. Yeah. I agree. Yep. So, uh, yeah. All right. What is your next card, Lowry? My next card is going to end up being Guttural Response. Gutter. Um, G U T T U R A L. You. -R. I'm I'm helping you because I was struggling, like as I was typing Got it. this in Got while it. you were talking. All right. So this is a hybrid red or green. So it's a gruel. Uh, it's an instant, and it says counter target instant spell. Now, this is only in 2,236 EDH rec decks. And the reason why I say this is underplayed, even though, you know, it's it's relatively under the radar, but um, it is, in comparison, it's worse than Red Elemental Blast and Hydro Blast. Or did I say that right? Pyroblast. Pyroblast. Is Pyro. The, the two red, red ones. One. Yep. But those are in 65,000 and 63,000, respectively. And really? this one's only in 2,000. They're in yes. that many decks? Holy balls. Yes. People yep. really They're do everywhere. hate blue. Have you seen <laughs> Renshai's decks? They're all, <laughs> all about that. Are but you better the, about that? The reason that? is those, <laughs> those can destroy blue permanents as well, yeah. whereas this is only countering target blue instant spell. But that's 
That's kind of what you're doing. Um, and it's only one mana. I think this is something that you can be putting in those Gruel X decks. Like, it's a good card. And I'm just surprised that it's only in, you know, less than 2,500 or 2,500K. 25, 25, 25, 20, 2,500K. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Those three Shit. shots, you know, that's what happens. <laughs> I had a, I, I didn't, uh, it was, it was a light dinner tonight. So <laughs> your beer is your dinner. Uh, Ranch I said those and Tabalt's trickery are all in his decks. <laughs> that was the other thing that we, we noticed from that list. Uh, we had a top 10 of Caldeheim, Caldeheim, whatever. And Tabalt's trickery did not make our top 10. So, uh, yeah, what that's, Park that's an idea that we came up with. So I was just saying counterspell suck, but this is something, you know, it's not blue. So. I think you got a chance. Very narrow, but I think it's still really good. Got it. So. All right. Uh, my next one is one that is recent because of dragon stuff, and I'm I, I'm actually baffled that this one is still in 531 decks. But it's zero. What is? What did we figure out the name was? Zerolan. Zerolan of Zerillion. Zerillion. Give me the button. True. One. One. one two, he can't even read. Two. Zerillion of the Claw, which is three and two red. It is a, I guess it, the Aratatex is Vashino Shaman, but it's a legendary creature. Three, four, you can tap three or two red and one colorless tap it. Search your library for a dragon card. Put it into play as though it was just summoned. Shuffle your library after that creature gains uh, haste and then remove it uh, from the game at the end of turn. So, with dragons, we just had the D and D Commander Legends, right? Commander yeah. Legends two uh, come out. It just dragons are a really big creature type. This is a reserve list card, so this thing keeps flirting with. It's at right now. It says it's thirty something. It was down around eleven before D and D, so yeah. it keeps going up and down. Like I mentioned, it's only in five hundred and thirty one decks. Only five hundred decks, huh? Five hundred and thirty one. How are people? Yeah. That People that are playing dragons, how are you not playing this card? Like, I, it's a super able, fair tutor. Yeah, it, it's directly into play. It's exiled, so you can't really abuse it that way. But you're able to play a dragon. It has haste. There's some really fucking scary dragons out there, man. And I don't understand how this one isn't played more. That's my only thing. And I've spec'd on this. I have multiple uh, dollar to duel lines where... Oh, so you have an agenda. Huh? No, no, no. I was going to say, I've already sold it and ah. made money off of it, and I wanted you to hit the button is what I wanted you to hit. Uh, I've already ag- advanced my dollar to duel lines because of this card oh, multiple times. Oh, good Thank you. for you. So this card just keeps making money. So I, right now it's kind of at a top. Good story, bro. What the hell? I'm just explaining things, man, and you're just you're just doing that, man. I don't know why I'm saying man so much. It's like I'm stoned or something. What did I drink? Okay, kill him. <laughs> now you're just hitting buttons. <laughs> yes. Uh, anyways, so surprised that this is only a 531 decks. It needs to be in more. Go out there and get it. Because if you like dragons, you should be playing this card. I, I, yeah. I mean, like, if you like just adding in dragons, this is a nice little tutor for what, uh, what they would be. I think it's a cool card. It means Larry doesn't like it. All right. What's your next card? <laughs> it's driven despair driven. It's a, just put in driven and it pops up. Got it. And so what this does is obviously, okay. After my eye for anybody out there, I, I focused on multicolored this time because what, it's what, what? <laughs> yeah, it, it's not something that I really do and curated. So uh, but driven to despair is something that's really cool. Um, it's something that I'm trying to use more, but it's colorless green sorcery until end of turn creatures you control gain trample. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That is and then the, the aftermath side is black colorless <clears throat> sorcery until end of turn creatures you control gain menace. And whenever the creature deals combat damage to a player, that player discards a card. Oh, that's so not for, bad for four, right? You're doing it's two green, and black, two? colorless, colorless, and your all of your creatures gain trample, and when they deal damage, and trample and menace. And menace, yeah. It, when they deal damage, you uh, you draw a card and they discard a card. 
that's a lot of value for four mana. Where's and... my pen? Where's my pen? <laughs> so this is an only. You live two... bastards don't buy this because I'm buying 2, it. 2,585 cards. This is also a spec of mine and I'm pushing it. But, oh, wait, wait, wait. What was that last but one? the card is good. It does, look, it's judging you and accepting me. That's, uh, <laughs> but Driven to Despair. Do as I, I say, think not as a, I do. <laughs> yeah, I think it has a lot of potential. That was for, good. I, that's kind of ridiculous because uh, four is easy. Easy peasy with the green yeah. and black. And you don't even have to do it all at once either you can do you the drawing cards but... because technically the let's let's look at this technic you know mechanically trample and menace kind of work against each other trample is going to do better do they though because the thing is is it's i mean the menace is forcing it so that they have to yeah. have two you know what i'm saying yeah, that's also true but if they block a creature with trample is less likely to trample through yeah but what right? i'm saying is like if they have a bigger but there's creature, gonna be more cards that are creatures that get if they only have like one block. or maybe two creatures your menace makes it so that the, the trample doesn't <laughs> it, it, whatever yeah no that's a, that's a really good point doji uh this is john discard from lowry tonight uh that's my second <laughs> discard um i didn't think about that but apparently it's on my mind maybe are maybe you building a deck to... of some sort is that what's I'm happening not. i'm not i'm doing the five color street fighter thing so that's not on my mind but maybe it is now um <laughs> but i i really like this card it's in less than 2500 k decks might as well just go with it it's under and, uh 25k it's yeah. and it's under a dollar Picking it up in foil, bitches. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, oh, what? Oh, here we go. My next one is Erratic Portal. Uh, mm -hmm. This card is in... This is a little bit on the higher end. It's close to 5,000, so it's probably the last time I can use it. 4,332 decks. What this card does, it's an artifact. It's four colorless. Uh, you can tap one, return target creature to its owner's hand unless its controller pays one. So there, there's a couple things with this. I use this um, in ETB kind of That's decks. That's true. Because uh, then you're returning your own things to your hand, <clears throat> and then you're able to play them again for the ETB effects. Um, the other thing is it, it, if people aren't paying attention and they don't leave a mana up, you can pop their creatures back to their hand. This just seems like it should be used a little bit more because I like ETBs and that's the main reason I would use this. But the, the secondary part of it is so, so I guess that's where I would put it in more is it's going to be an ETB effect, but as a bonus, I might be able to pop somebody's creature that wasn't that tapped out to do something mm -hmm. and you're popping mm -hmm. it back at the very least. You're just making it annoying. Maybe they have, maybe it's a blue player and they have two blue mono open. You're like, well, I'm going to pop your whatever to your hand. And oh, like, that's oh, a really shit. good play. My counter spell no longer is going to work unless I let this go to my hand. So I, I just think that this card could be used a lot more. I don't think I can use this again because it'll be over 5,000. Um, but I think it's a very decent card. It's been printed in the list actually recently. And let's see Exodus right there. How many printings do we actually have? Not, not many. Not many. So if it looks anything. like two. Exodus. It looks like the list. And Exodus. And, yep. These are yeah. online stuff right there. So yep. um, I currently do have it in like, I think two decks and you made a proxy of it. Yep. Because it went in, did it go in Croxa? Does that make sense? Yes. Cause then I'm popping it back to my hand and being able to play it again. And I, th and I think that's a perfect way to do it. So I, I think a big reason why it's not in more decks is because there's competition with crystal shard. Yes, but that is blue, blue, blue specific. This it's, is well. It, I mean, yeah, it's you have to be in a blue, blue identity. Deck. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And blue really likes their ETBs. It likes their blinks and stuff like that. So, like, this just gets cut out of those decks. I dropped my pen. Fuck. Mm. And <laughs> wah, 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 wah. and um. So, but I think people then forget. Like, there's plenty of ETB decks that could really like this, like Rosa, like you're saying right and it 
in comparison to Crystal Shard, it's that one extra mana and it's a colorless versus a blue. But I think people just kind of go like, well, this isn't as good as that potentially. To whereas this is more of a where it's going to be better in a non blue deck. So here's Crystal Shards here if you guys are watching the YouTubes. It is three, and then you can tap three and tap it, or one blue and tap it, return target creature to its owner's hand. Yeah. So it's one more to come in, uh, but potentially the Radic Portal is better because it's only one colorless. And well, then I the- think I think the biggest thing is like where are you playing it? Like, right. don't don't just disregard a Radic Portal because it's four mana instead of three. Right. And and both of these cards can go in the same deck yep. easily as long as that's the effect that you want. Use to that have. consistency. Yep. Yes. For sure. Um, so I, I think it's very undervalued. Well, and do, I think you can to give you an idea, like uh I made Duke yesterday and I didn't do erratic portal, and now it's making me think I need to do erratic portal. It's also making me go. Uh, I need to probably put it in Yarok because Yarok is an ETB type of deck. So if if you don't have Crystal Shard, you know I think Crystal Shard maybe works in there. But the three colors, like you're saying, I think Crystal makes Shard it is potentially harder. Yeah, but so this I I need to rethink, and that's the thing is it doesn't always pop in my head. Hey, this is a way because I like things blinking, but one is not that much. Although it is returning, and you have to recast it. That's the harder part. And, and Matt here has a really good point too. Just it's a, I maybe you said this, maybe I'm repeating it, and maybe he said it. I don't, I don't think. I don't think okay, no, 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 no. I don't think I did. So, so what he's saying is like it's just a good protection card as well. Like it doesn't. Oh, that is a very good just point. I didn't even to reuse put it that. your ETB. It's if somebody goes to wrath or target your stuff, you just return it back to your hand, and you're like, okay, I got my best card, or I got that card you're trying to kill. As an excellent and, point. Man, that's that's kind of a cool way of doing it. So I I like that idea, Matt. Thanks. Yep. No, seriously, I didn't even. That wasn't even in my mindset yeah. of what to, what to use it for. Right. And he's Cause... saying in mono white it, that I mean like mono white, <laughs> but like that that can work in red, black, green, any deck really decks just for protection. Yep. Because I think green and white might have enough protection, honestly, because white has a lot of like one mana given indestructible or hex proof or whatever like i can tell you duke i had i had like 12 protection things and i had to cut down so there's a lot in white why is yeah good at protection i think there is and and so but i think red and black definitely have the issue of like protecting their stuff yeah uh all right what is your next one lowry we got two more two more that's a good question i did okay Cauldron Haze. This is in 1,263 EDH rec decks. And I it is Cauldron wrong. C A U L D R O N. I thought you were a witch. I didn't think I was going to have to help you. No, I'm just kidding. What? All right. So it's one <laughs> in it. What? I have no you're idea. You're a wizard, going. Adam. Uh, you're a wizard, Ari. All right. So it's one in a hybrid white or black, which is Orzov. It's an instant. This was, a, number- this was a curated, wasn't what? it? This was a curated, wasn't it? Was it? Yeah, it was. I remember this one. Shoot. That's okay. That's I okay. I could have chose another one. That's okay. It's a good card. Keep going. Keep All going. Right. All right. Cauldron Haze. Instant. Uh, choose any number of target creatures. Each of those creatures gains persist until end of turn, which means if it doesn't have a minus one, minus one counter on it, if it dies, it comes back into play with a minus one, minus one counter on it. And so this is, I think, a really cool protection spell for, for sure. those Orzov X decks. And um, it needs to get a little bit more respect in its name, right? Like minus one, minus one counters can do a little bit more. Um, it's going, like, if you're an aristocrat's deck, you can just go, I'm going to target all of my creatures, sacrifice them all. They all come back with minus one, minus one counters on them. If they die, I get the ETV trigger and or the death trigger again. Or they stay into play and they're just a little bit weaker. I think it's a really, really cool card. Um, how many, how many couple, decks did you say it was in? This is in 1,263 wow. decks. Should be in way more. It's right. It, I mean, but it's an even tide, only one printing. That's probably why. I, I, so this this falls into this 
it's an old enough card that people have forgotten about it. Right. Yeah. For Is sure. What's going on. I think so. I mean, that seems th- this should be a more, I'm surprised they even put it in a commander product, you know, like this is, this is a good protection spell. Yeah, I think so. I and think so too. protection and ETB, like, like you just said, the sacrificing your own stuff and having it come back again. Uh, you're taking advantage of the sack outlet or whatever you're doing there, or maybe you're yeah. trying to do ETB stuff. There's a lot of, there's three or just or four in reaction to a wrath. Right. You just go, I'm going to bring all my stuff back. They For all sure. live. You, you re-trigger all your, your ETBs. You get your death triggers. Like, I think it's, I think it's a really cool card. Um, I say, check it out. Yep. Uh, check out curated MTG and that's where you can see. <laughs> I don't need, I don't remember doing it. So uh, no, it's all right. <laughs> the only reason I remember doing it, like what, cause I do the thumbnails for it. And so then I'm like, yes. I remember doing yeah. this one. Cause I remember her hand being up and like the smoke <laughs> coming off of her hand. I'm like, I remember that curated. Okay. All right. So my next one is vile consumption. <sighs> uh, Dirty card. Dirty. And, yeah, this is a very staxy card, but it's one uh blue and a black. Uh this is from Invasion, so it's an old card here. Uh an enchantment all creatures have at the beginning of the up of your upkeep, sacrifice this creature unless you pay one life. This goes in your non-token decks and yeah. will destroy the token decks because if they have tons of tokens out, they're gonna be taking a lot of damage. And the thing is, is it's a beginning of upkeep. So you play this, you aren't going to get affected until it comes around to you. So everybody else yeah. is going to get hit. Everybody's playing lots of creatures. The board wipe hasn't happened. Boom. You plop this out there and you're doing a lot of damage. Uh, this is in 587 EDH rec decks, which is kind of surprising, but it is, it's that's, from, in, yeah, that's low. It's from invasion and that's it. So did I do a curated of this one at all? You might have actually. I've, I've thought about this card a lot. You might. And have so like, been. I agree. I love it. It's one of those cards though, that are um, like almost too mean to want to play. It's because <laughs> we don't play a lot of stacks. We can, yeah. I, I can admit that like yeah. there's, there's not much in there that I would want to do. Does that sacrifice though? It says sacrifice. Yep. Sacrifice this right. creature. Yeah, that might be something that I'd play in like Thraxamundar or something, like taking advantage of people sacrificing their creatures. Yep. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh, dude. So, yeah. Thrax would be really liking this yeah, a lot. So you're just getting the counters on there. Oh, Thraxamundar. and uh, well, Tigrid can't play this. What's but. the uh, mal- the one that I like to play? The black and green. Uh, when whenever anybody sacrifices anything, all your creatures get one plus one counters on them. Oh, Mazarek. Mazarek, thank you. Yeah, that'd be good. In it. Well, but that wouldn't work it's, with Mazarek. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's, it's, I think oh, it fuck. fills a space that might not fit a whole ton of decks, other than just like generally mean. I think if you put this in like a Voltron deck of black blue. Oh it, yeah, because you're just one. Be yeah, you just want the one creature, and you then everybody else is getting ones. Hit. Maybe yeah. you're just spell slinger. Like, I think this works really well there. That's a good point. Um, the card's super mean, though. Yeah. All right, uh, Larry, what is your last card on on the top 10 list here? Of my last one's maybe my worst one, but I, I it's one that I've worst looked at, us. and I... I it's... Uh, okay, Farsight Mask. You can look it up so other people can see it. It's just five mana artifact. Whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to you... If it's untapped, you may draw a card. And I've seen this one before. Have you played this one before? I, it, I might have. Um, and I think I might have taken it out as well. But it's it's in 1,314 EDH rec decks. But it's the, the biggest issue is the five mana to come out. Yeah, right? that's it's a just hard. a little slow. Doesn't but it feel like if it was if it was one source. less, it'd be amazing? Yes. Yeah, and that's just because it doesn't matter if it's untapped or tapped or whatever. Like, you just know to not tap yeah. it. But <laughs> it's get to tap it. Like though, it kills those token decks where you're just gonna draw so much. Would this stop you from attacking me with more from more than like two creatures if you can get them through? What's funny is I was tempted to put in No Mercy, which is a similar idea in that when a source deals yeah. damage to you a creature or whatever they sacrifice it this is much better like i like this a lot more and 
Oh, I, dude, what? I don't know if I like that. No Mercy drawing. is a $40 car. This is drawing, though, yeah. for five. Like, Yeah, but No Mercy is... I get is what you're res- saying. Is it reserve list? Is No Mercy reserved, or is it just old? No, no, it's just not printed again. Yeah. So... But this seems like I mean, drawing's always good. Like I think that that five is the kind of the yeah the little yep. like. But seriously, if it was a four, it'd be like this is in every single one of my decks. It'd be crazy. <laughs> so it'd be it'd be great. No, I think that's good. I like this card. And so like and even because it, it states every source, mm-hmm. which doesn't necessarily mean creatures. That can mean artifacts, sorceries, instants. Mm-hmm. All that kind of stuff. As long as it's I mean, dealing that, some that doesn't you, happen as op- often, but yeah. I, I get it. Yeah, and they kind of, although it's an old card, it's from Mirrodin, but they make it so you can't abuse it by being like, everybody take one damage. Oh, I'm damaging myself. I draw. It's only opponents. That's true. Uh, source, That's true. So. That's fair. Uh, but there are plenty of cards out oh, there where sure. it's like everybody's take. So like, if you're playing a Mo- against a Mogus deck. You're like, I'll take the two damage yeah, draw right. card. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, no, that's really good. I or, like this or card. if 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 somebody in your meta is playing like Omnath Locust of, you know, the four mana one that deals four damage to everybody, and you're like, I'll draw a card off that too. I mean, four damage can be a lot, yeah. but like every time you take a damage, oh, sure. it doesn't that's matter a what type, you're just gonna yeah. draw a card. And so I think this works as long as it is kind of in your meta now. If you're against token decks, like if somebody, if I plop this down against a token deck, they're going to stop attacking you, which is great, but then they will only attack you if you're going to die. Like, oh, right. I'm going to kill you. That's, right. that's how that happens. But if it's a, like a Voltron deck or they're attacking with like one, two big creatures, like something like Nath or something, like this isn't as good against like. But the, things like these are. Things that make it so that you survive in commander games because yeah. it's that uh, propaganda, that um, ghostly prison type thing where it's like, do I want to spend the two more to attack this person or do I just want to attack the one that's easier? Do I want yeah. to make allow Lowry to draw just to hit him for a couple or do I just want to hit somebody that I don't have to give a benefit to? This is mm-hmm. a good card to hinder somebody, and it's an artifact and go in every single deck. Uh, I think I think this is something that if you're in an artifact themed deck that reduces costs, like has a lot of like. But even if it doesn't, themes. though, I mean, think of that. I mean, five. I, five I, isn't I'm not too saying bad. that, but like this is something that you should highly consider. This is something oh, you're saying that I would do more for so. curated. Like, if you are in an artifact themed deck where you can reduce the cost or you really can pump out artifacts really quick, I think this is something that you should consider. Yeah, for sure. Um, because being able to draw that many cards, potentially, that's the problem, right? Potentially. But um, I think it's a really good card. Drawing cards is awesome. Um, I would suggest I like it. Out. I am. Um, my pen is right here. I didn't drop mine. I'm writing this one down, too. You're being uh, kind. I know. I'm a nice. I'm a nice. You're, you're a good. You're a good partner. And wait, then wait until the next. Wait until the next segment. Uh, all right. So then <laughs> my last card is one that we both wanted. And actually yes. this has absolutely made, made its appearance on curated MTG as well. And actually and we, made, we've talked about it in specs. Yeah. We've, we've, talked about, <laughs> we've, this we've is, talked about this card a lot because it is a reserve list reserve list, right? Yes. yes. So there's a lot of times this card has probably been mentioned five co- times on this pod podcast but it's unfulfilled desires again yes. it is another blue and black uh enchantment but it's one colorless one blue one black enchantment pay one pay one life draw a card then choose and discard a card it's just it's it's straightforward mm-hmm. but it's really easy draw uh yes. you're not having to discard beforehand which is kind of no. nice one life is not that much and you're not tapping no. anything you're just tapping one you're not tapping the enchantment to do the effect. Yeah. You're yep. just tapping you can do one this as many times as you have mana available. So you get to, you know, everybody's going, they say, go to you. You're like, well, I have three mana open tap one, two, three, draw a card, discard a card, draw a card, discard a card, draw a card, discard a card. It's a good way to filter through your deck, get what you need to go get. And it's only three to get this one. Yeah. It's at a reserve list card back in Mirage is the only time it was printed. 
And it's We've been only talking a, about this card since it was like two or three dollars. Yeah, and it's eleven dollars like, at this point. It goes up and down. I think this is. Yeah, been I think it's 20. hit up to thirty, and then it slowly drops see. down again. Uh, unfulfilled. There we go. My desires. So you can kind of check out. Uh, well, it's not showing you the whole thing there. People that are watching on the YouTube's, we can see that seven dollars. Laura and I started talking about reserve list stuff. Way back here. When was it? Twenty. We're four years into this. It's twenty twenty two. So we're like area. You can't see me pointing. So <laughs> <laughs> there's Dominaria right there. Yeah, this is so what we right talking. there. That's basically when we started. Sixty cents is where this one went, and now you know it went up, comes down. This is kind of what the reserve list stuff does, and it really popped okay. up. This was during uh, COVID. Uh, how many how many EDH Rex decks is, oh, yeah. is this in? Five hundred sixty-seven. How many? Five hundred sixty-seven. Five hundred sixty-seven. Yeah. Five if you're guys. if you're playing blue and black decks, why are you not playing this? Put card? this in your goddamn decks. Here, I look, would, look. but I only play red, so that's <laughs> <laughs> true. Or red variants. The uh, if you're in a if you're in a blue back black deck that is playing from the graveyard in any way, like Madrotha or something That's like that. That's a good point too. Get this goddamn card in your deck. Yeah, it is better than Rhystic Study in those kind of decks. You will thank Adam later because this card, Adam is and Lowry, because blockers. we have talked about this card so much. Like this card has yes. been like we've. This card is. We talk about a lot of cards, right? And this I would is, say this is equivalent to when we talked about Lifeline. Like Lifeline yeah, was the same, yep. and I still think Lifeline Absolutely. is one of the most underplayed cards. But. I wonder if we should go just have a segment of like <laughs> get this through your head. These are the <laughs> cards that you need to get. That's actually not a bad idea. And and like this is stuff that we've talked about for years at this point, and. You know, Lifeline and Unfulfilled Desires are on that list. The card is crazy. You draw so many cards. It's it's that, no joke. I think the thing is, is it's not like splashy where it's like, well, <clears throat> ugh, you're drawing. and Okay, we're going to go back a little bit. And this can get newer players a it's little bit. It, 100 this times is, better than Phyrexian Arena. 100 times better. But people don't like discarding. And so I feel like that sometimes can hinder cards from being seen as much, you know, because we were like, oh, I don't want to discard. And then this is paying one life. I remember, remember my neighbor, my old neighbor, he was like, why do you yeah. play fetches? You're hurting yourself. Like that doesn't even yep. make any sense. He's like, you don't get it. Like, <laughs> like this just fixes your mana. You can go get a dual land and all that. And it's just like, no, why are you hurting yourself? That's, Thank you. You're hurting. I'm like it's one life. That is not that much. Yeah. And so I think one, this is an older card. Two, it's a reserve list card. Three, paying one life can get people in a forty life game. It shouldn't matter. And then the discarding might be another thing. But all those are very minuscule to how good this <clears throat> card is. Yeah. Yeah. In different you see things. So many cards. Okay, Doji is saying discard scares, scares me. me. Yeah. Think about how many times in your hand where you're sitting. We were we were talking. We were looking at your ninja deck where you said that you got ninjas stuck in your hand, and just think of being able to pay one, get rid of the most expensive, least likely to be like ninjaed in, and just look for another card. Yeah, there are so many times where people put dead cards in in certain situations. Okay, I should have said people. You're all people, right? Not looking <laughs> to offend you. But there are times in everybody's game where they're like, this is a dead card. And you get to draw the card first. And if you're like, this isn't the best, you know, this is the card. It doesn't work nearly as good. Get rid of it. Yeah. Well, again, now, lands late game. Like, you don't need yeah, the you, land. You're like, I don't need that. I don't need that. And you just get to see so many cards. This is. Okay, let's let's put put it this way. If if this was colorless, this is Sensei's Divining Top level good. What? 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 <laughs> yeah, like yeah, it because no, it can't go in every deck, right? This right. is just going to be black, blue. Yeah. But I would I would seriously put this in that many decks. If it was colorless, it'd be in every goddamn deck. Yeah. Because you just get to see. You're just going like 
I don't like that card right now. Let's I'm, I'm digging for the answer. I'm digging for a, like mana. I just don't have mana. I can do this. Like, yeah, it, it's such a good card at being able to see everything. And now uh, we've, we've pointed out some of the, like, and douche ba- douchebag Trombley chimes in and says, you only Jesus. like discarding cards because you put garbage cards in your decks. <laughs> right. Right. Exactly. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Can we oh, can we can delete we, that? Or, can, can we boot him? Get him out of here. Can we get him out. Him get out. I think. Wait. Can we? They're just looking. There's the mods. Little, there's the mods. Little. Hey, <laughs> probably since you're a mod, can you kick yourself out of here? Just, <laughs> just get out of here. Get 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 out no. of here. It's no. This. I mean, it. It totally makes sense why probably would say that. That's why he loses a and lot. That, that's that's why he doesn't play his own decks. He's just, that's right. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to discard a ton of cards when you're playing Adam's deck. Oh, he plays a bunch of good cards. <laughs> playing from the graveyard, like, are you just anti-Halloween? Is that what's going on? <laughs> are you are you a summer person or a summer spring? You're a spring summer person, aren't you? Uh... <laughs> no. It okay. So out of all of the ten cards that we've talked about, unfulfilled desires is the only one that we overlapped. Which is insane because we had, you know, it was a blank check for what we were picking. And in my opinion, this is the best card. Yeah. That we're talking about. Yep. No, this is, uh, well, <laughs> I lose he me. loses because he uses your decks. Yeah. You know, that's the only reason you win. That's the only <laughs> reason you win. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You win. Remember, you're the one, the Trombley, you shit talker. You're, you're the one you. that says, you're the one that says, uh, at least I can win with your decks because I'll have a bad night and you're the only one winning with my decks. So you, you're a fucker. And That's... then Cole will jump in and say, I win with your decks too. Everybody wins with my decks. Cole the, wins a lot with your decks, but he problem... only plays like so, two so of them. Here, I'm going to, this is going off track. He's not here. willing to branch out. He's, well, no, no. He just, the, the reason why is because you're playing my decks, but then you're not a Smith. So then you don't get oh, targeted. Yeah. There is That's a, a kill the Smith aspect to everything that Larry and I do. And so whenever there's an, a doubt, it's like, Oh, who do we, who do I attack? It's not, Oh, I'm flipping a coin. It's like, well, there's Adam and there's Lowry. I'm attacking this person, you know, but if you're playing our decks and then you're not a Smith, that's a big advantage. It's like you're a sniper. You know, you're I just... think this is a really good point. I think it's just the decks that we build, not that we're good players. I think it's that we're decent deck builders. Well, which is, but we're pretty shitty at playing. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. No, it would just get hate on. You know, so the people discard. should not get into the next segment they, here. They should attack bit. the deck. <laughs> they should, they should focus on whatever the deck is. <laughs> <clears throat> all right. Uh, we're <laughs> That's an, weird. What? Like it's you. Is it a spit shine polish? What are we you talking about? You know, how to polish a turd. All right. Like, uh, how do you polish a turd? Like, do you got to wait until it's like hard? Or like, are there still flies on it? How do you do this? I don't know. All right. Epoxy? Let's, <laughs> let's move epoxy. on to our last segment. That was it for our top 10. Uh, all these cards you guys should pick up. They should be played more, especially this last one. This last one was uh, one that Lowry and I both had on our list. We both like it was on Lowry's yeah. list for a little bit. And he's like, I got more. And then I put it back on my list. So we, this is why we both kind of collaborated right. in that last one. So, uh, all right. You know what I realized? I did. The, did I play the button last week when you were editing? Did you remember? Because nope. I didn't play the button, which is kind of funny. But here we go. Excuse me. I believe you have my stapler. Fight. <laughs> Staple versus. All right. So we had skull clamp, which I'll get it up right now. Uh, where do you think that this one ended up last night or last night? <laughs> <coughs> last night? What? <laughs> where do you think this happened? What happened last night, Lowry? Uh, where do you think this? Pretty sure I came up with something that could be at risk to study. Uh, no, honest opinion. This is where we, we shed the truth. But it, okay. The, I. Uh, oh, um, come on. Oh, shit. What happened? What'd you do? Look what you did, you little jerk. Nothing bad. I found good jelly beans. 
No one, no one did it. Oh, you just went and grabbed jelly beans. Yeah, I, I put them in the crown. <laughs> All right. So, I personally like skull clamp. Yes, but I'm pretty sure I have Ristic Study in more decks. Ristic Study just passively gets you so many cards. The reason why I like skull clamp, it's like. I'm able to react to it. I'm controlling how many, like, right. how many cards it is. It is a little bit of a protection as well, like putting it on a commander or something that's Correct. a creature yeah. that's doing really well for you. Um, and also, I tend to play maybe a little bit more like X1 decks, like tokens. Um, and so it allows me to uh, take more advantage of it. Also, being colorless allows me to have it in more decks and have more experience with it but risk the risk study just wins games it's so good i well what happened in our game on uh wednesday i played risk yeah. study turn two and then <laughs> jacuzzi copied it so there were two risk studies and you Brutal. douchebag were paying for his or paying for mine and letting <laughs> him draw yeah. Don't worry, we're cousins. My ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought that meant like I know what I'm doing <laughs> to deny you cards. You joined in the kill the Smiths and you're a Smith, you son of a bitch. <laughs> and who yeah, won that that's... game? Who won that game? Jacuzzi. He did. Yeah. I agree. He he won probably cuz we had him drawing like a couple cards per turn for a while. I, so think I, I agree with that. I think I drew one card off him or two cards, maybe at the most. I think at the very end, you allowed us both to draw. And then I think uh, Renshai let me draw one. So, uh, okay. So where, where do you think the voting ended up? Ristic. I think Ristic's the easier card to work with. Um, and people like being trolls and saying, did you pay the one? <laughs> that's, that's, that's my sorry. thought instead of you that's paying the one. Bar. Sorry, I apologize for those people that saw my whatever news feed that came up. Uh, uh, avoid the Pornhub. Actually, I don't watch Pornhub. It's a different yeah. one. I won't tell you. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Twitter voted, and Twitter voted with 58% of the votes for Ristic Study. Yeah, okay. Discord's on my side, though, right? YouTube voted. You're not even going to read the Discord? And YouTube you voted 54%. So this is still really close. 54%, but by far our biggest voting is from uh, YouTube. YouTube's. Yeah. 54% for Ristic Study. But the dumbass Discord. <laughs> there was a record turnout this week, too. Wasn't uh, I, I, you know what? I have to, I have to do something here. I'm stupid. You're smart. I was wrong. You were right. You're the best. I'm the worst. Uh, you're very good looking. I'm not attractive. All right. As long as you're willing to admit that. Uh, Discord showed out in numbers. Is that and, Billy Madison? Yes. Uh, no, that's Happy Gilmore. That's what. <laughs> here, okay. Listen, listen again. I'm stupid. You're smart. I was wrong. You were right. You're the best. I'm the worst. Uh, you're very good looking. I'm not attractive. All right. As long as you're willing to admit that. Uh, Discord showed out in numbers there. They at least quadrupled what they normally vote and allowed this to be a tie because they voted 68, what? What? 68% to Skull Clamp to 32% to Ristic Study. And we have our second tie in like three weeks. Shush. <laughs> at 50-50. <laughs> Really? <laughs> so that is why I'm playing this, and I will put the crown on while I play it again. I'm stupid. You're All smart. Right. I was wrong. You were right. You're the best. I'm the worst. <sighs> uh, you're Thank you. very good looking. I just want to dedicate this attractive kind All right. of win to As long the as you're willing to admit that. They are the best group of humans that I know. I apologize, and... Discord. I... I, like I nope, said, you just keep on your, you call them <laughs> DAs. I don't know why you would do that. I feel like that's also why the Twitter and the, uh, uh, YouTube wasn't as much of a landslide is because I'm guessing that all the people that voted for you on discord also voted in those other places. So it wasn't so much seriously, exactly the same 
And we had a lot of voting going this week. And so mm-hmm. when we've had it tied before, it was, you know, it wasn't as many votes. This is a lot more votes. Yeah. You you guys are smart. I'm stupid. You guys are sexy and I am not. I apologize. Okay, so what do we got for this week's? <laughs> uh, I have said my apologies. You guys are awesome. Uh, what are we fight, fighting for I believe here? believe them. It's propaganda misinformation. Um, okay, so fake news. Adam, Adam did. Uh, he's gonna have anointed procession. I'm gonna have divine visitation. Divine visitation is an enchantment for three and two white. Uh, whenever one or more creature tokens would be created under your control, that many four four white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance are created instead. And I have, and, and I it, have, okay. Uh, anointed procession. It is one less at three and one colorless enchantment. Mm-hmm. If an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. All right. Gonna, gonna point out the specifics here. This, this gives Adam the, the slight lead here when it comes to token production there we go Mine only affects don't creatures. take away my negatives your only yours only does everything <laughs> mine only does everything yep <laughs> let's put a negative spin on this it only does everything which isn't as good as you think <laughs> look who cares about how many food tokens you make right adam you don't even like food that's a terrible angle. Why would you even do that? So divine visitation, though, when you have creatures that attack that put tokens into play, when you have uh, ETBs that put creature tokens into play, creature tokens is the shiznit and happens all the time, everywhere. Every deck does it. It's landfall. It's just instants and sorceries. You got doubling season. You got plenty of cards that interact with those kind of things. And um, Divine Visitation turns all of those creature tokens into 4-4 Flying Vigilance Angels. And who doesn't want to be an angel? Because it's very close to Easter. They don't exist. I mean, it's also not close to Easter, but it's like, um, yeah. (laughs) So I think the big thing is, is so like, Let's let's talk about this. When you have creatures that ETB attacking, they turn into angels that are also attacking. And that's pretty awesome. <laughs> All right. Why are you laughing? I don't know. I'm gonna win the game with this. What you, and you're gonna you're gonna double the amount of oops. Like O uh, one okay. germs is so, that what's going on? So I, a bunch of O one plants. I will, I will tell you, I have made a Magda deck. I have made a Nakiri deck. I have made a Duke deck, which actually just appear, premiered this last week. Uh, yep. Divine Visitation is nowhere in those decks because those hinder those Magda's decks. Mono red. The, the, you well, have none of them. Yeah, that's a good point with Magda. But uh, Akiri and Duke, it matters. What my point was. A lot of times when you're playing token decks, you're playing the tokens because you want those tokens. You want your dog tokens. You want your cat tokens. Dog you, tokens? No, I'm just saying tokens in general. Your deck is doing something with those tokens in specific. I don't want my treasures to change into four fours because I want to go get a dragon because dragons are better than angels. Sorry, they are. Uh, with my Akiri deck... I don't want my treasure tokens to change over to angels because now Akiri does not even matter anymore. Uh, nope, my... nope, you still get your treasures. You still get your treasures. This only affects creature tokens. Oh, just creature tokens. So mine Correct. affects treasures with doubling and yours, yours does yeah. Were you planning on having me correct you? I the, feel this, like it wasn't the case. So just... You probably shouldn't have corrected me. So you're, you're this, convenient. Uh, well, so how many times I've been wrong on my visitation tokens. throughout the years, yeah. but... I mean, you're right. Why would you? So, so what you're telling me is that all those food tokens and those treasure tokens and those clue tokens, nothing happens with your card, right? I mean, you still get the tokens. (laughs) 
Oh, I got lightheaded. Whoa, I got lightheaded there. <laughs> you got me. You win. I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> Champion. <laughs> ah. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know where to go from here. Cheers. <laughs> you, can, you can be like, well, I get double those amount of tokens. <sighs> oh, my eyes are leaking. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> It's rigged. You're wrong, Doji. <laughs> Look, divine advantage I- intervention comes You're, in. You can't, you can't even say the name. Look, it's late in the game right did now. Did you say divine intervention? <laughs> what? I did. That's a different card. All right. Divine visitation is a is a game winner card. Right? Ooh. No, I'm not saying that annoying procession might not be. <clears throat> Hey, look, All right. my car, my tags need to hold this up. That's divine visitation is a game winner. It, it's it's throwing down four four angels that generally are attacking or able to block, and there it's a fantastic card to end the game. Alayla wants this over anointed procession. Um, you have Trail of Star that might. I don't have the token <laughs> version of that. But landfall decks are going to want divine visitation over anointed procession. Why is that? Because you just you're creating four fours instead of like one ones and one twos and shits little shits. When you're creating little shits, what if your landfall is creating treasures or clues like a tireless tracker or tireless provisioner? Then, then you, I thought we already talked about this. You get <laughs> you get your you get your treasures or clues. Like what's the problem there? <laughs> okay name, name a token a creature token that you wouldn't no, want to have turn wanna... into a divine intervention or divine, <laughs> divine intervention. my dukes i don't divine want my etb is... stuff to turn into four fours i want my etbs my duke does not want those tokens that are coming into play to change into a four four flying vigilance I want them to stay yeah you're ETBs. you're right you would prefer them to come in as worse creatures right okay. They give me the ETBs because they're all ETB effects. Everything that I've done with that dude deck. Check out that deck. Uh, deck tech is spotlight deck. It was uh, pl- or done this last week. <laughs> Look at this uh, guy plugging. Look at you. Look at this guy plugging for our own show. For our own show. Look at this guy plugging for our own stuff. He can't trust commercials. That's what he is. He's a walking commercial. I wouldn't. I wouldn't trust that. I would trust angels that come down visiting. <laughs> Like divine inter- divine visitation. You were gonna say intervention again. <laughs> oh, Renji, stop! <laughs> this is fun. It is not the same card. They're very different cards. Uh, I will give one other thing. With mine is mine at least doubles whatever tokens they're producing, whereas yours is just a replacement effect. So yeah. yours is just gonna be like, all right, you got a four four, which is good. I get it. Yes. A 4-4 four, four flying vigilance is good with flying. Angels are great. But when your your deck is normally doing a thing, sure, that this would be really good in an angel token deck. But when your deck is doing it's an thing, angel token deck. When Nobody, your deck is doing even its thing. thing, you don't want it to be like a freaking, I want my dogs to change into, I want one you angel keep on for my dogs. dogs. Because Why I'm just you? Thinking, why do you keep on saying that? I don't know, because people like dogs and cats. I like dogs and cats. Do you like dogs and cats, Larry? I don't like dog and ta- cat <gasps> tokens. You don't like dogs and cats? You monster. What kind of shit is this? Are you trying to do an angel like your, your crown yeah, you is like flooded? like the Halo <laughs> thing going on? <laughs> Vote for Larry. He's an angel. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I'm... All right, whatever. All right. <laughs> All right. You guys can All vote right. for Lowry or myself on the Discord. You can vote on Twitter. You can vote on uh, YouTube. Just check out the community tab. 
vote there. That is our biggest voting. So the, you guys are fucking killing it over there. Uh, Discord, yeah, you guys, it. I have to say it again. I'm stupid. You're smart. I was wrong. You were right. You're the best. I'm the worst. Uh, you're very good looking. I'm not attractive. All right. As long as you're willing to admit that. So I apologize. You you guys did work because this should have been a solo win this last week, but you did it. Smart ass discord. All right. That should do it for I this won. week. They won. <laughs> uh, we will catch you guys next week. Thanks for listening. See ya. Bye. Saga. I love boobs. I'm talking tatas. I love boobs. I'm bonkers for honkers. I love boobs. Thanks for the memories. I love boobs. Boom. It's really hard to line up a can. <laughs> <sighs>